awareness the way i have heard a master lived in a monastery one day he called his chief disciple that i am going to the mountain the disciple became very happy he said we will pack up and go to the mountain he said three days after i'll go to the mountain so he told the disciple no you have to stay here people may come they visit the place so at least there has to be someone to take care of the place and saying this the master went into three days silence disciple thought let me ask the master how to take care of the place here what am i to do but the master was in silence so he took out a book he asked the master what am i supposed to do to take care of the monastery master asked for the book he wrote in the book awareness he was happy he took the book next day he wanted to know if there is anything more than the awareness so he went and asked the master again can you explain what is awareness master took the book and wrote awareness then again he thought if there is anything else more please explain to me master again wrote awareness plus awareness plus awareness he did not understand again he asked can you explain or if there is anything else missing tell me he took the book again he wrote awareness plus awareness plus awareness equal to awareness awareness is the only way it is the method it is the state of no mind illness are myriad but their nature their nature is varied but there is only one word health you can get sick in many ways you can have many problems but when you attain to health there is only one way the quality of health is one health happens only in one way and is always the same whether i am healthy or you are healthy the feel of health remains the same and if you check the healthy person he will remain the same diseases are millions wrongs are many but the right key that unlocks the door the master key is only one and rather than cutting the branches or pruning the leaves cut the very roots there are many people who go on pruning the leaves and cutting the branches such are the moralists a moralist cannot be spiritual the master was wise enough when he had told the disciple what he supposed to do to take care of the monastery awareness and what is awareness awareness is awareness finally he said awareness plus awareness plus awareness equal to awareness a moral person is a little bit stupid he is stupid in the sense that he thinks that by cutting the leaves he is going to destroy the tree he is not going to destroy the tree this way you cut one leaf and the tree will respond with two extra leaves instead the foliage will become thicker that's why during the autumn time we prune the rose plants 
and we allow when the spring comes tree becomes thicker the foliage is much more you can cut one branch and the tree will pour its sap and juice into another branch and the other branch will become thicker and bigger this is what happens in life somebody is against this against that so he cuts the branch now the whole energy becomes moves into the other side and it becomes anger and this is the way the life goes on energy can only be transformed but it cannot be destroyed if you close one outlet it moves to the other and it starts flowing from the other side you suppress something it may become anger it may become frustration it may become something or the other because that is a another outlet energy will start flowing from another outlet if you close the front door then from the back door it starts flowing and from the back door when it starts flowing it becomes more dangerous because it makes you a hypocrite your life becomes a double standard you start living in a dual way you say one thing and do another thing you show one thing and you are another you become almost a split personality my emphasis is also exactly the same as that of tibetan master atisha you come to me with a thousand and one problem and my answer is always the same if you come with anger i will say be aware of it if you come with greed again i'll say be aware of it awareness cuts the very root of all the problems that you have it is the only remedy what is the root unawareness is the root one can be angry only if he is unaware try to be angry and aware together and you will find it impossible you will be either aware or unaware when you are aware then anger will not be found you may be angry and aware awareness will disappear at same time and anger is something that instantaneously if i ask you can you postpone your anger for one second you are getting angry you tell your spouse look i will not be angry right now i'll be angry with you this evening when i come back can you practice that anger is a state of unawareness a dark moment comes in you express anger so you cannot be angry and aware same time if anger comes in awareness goes away one can be angry only when there is an awareness try to be angry and aware together and you will find it impossible either you can be aware or unaware when you are aware then anger will not be found up to now nobody has been able to manage two things together be angry and be aware together if i ask you can you walk and stand together it is not possible either you can stand or you can walk and i do not think you can prove anything exceptional try it and it is impossible you may think both are happening but if you minutely watch you will find when awareness is there anger is not it is not that you can have the light and darkness together one is the absence of the other the moment light comes in our darkness disappears 
and the moment darkness comes the light is not there it is the absence unawareness is the root of all illness and awareness is the only medicine buddha says i am a physician and someone ask you again and again say that you are a physician but i do not see you having a clinic you have any medicines around you what medicine do you give when someone asks buddha responded my medicine is only one it is awareness anyone comes i prescribe awareness and it has not to be brought from the chemist you have to change your inner chemistry to bring it it is an alchemical change and awareness comes yes indeed you have to change your inner chemistry right now your inner chemistry functions in such a way that it produces unawareness and unconsciousness as toxins it can be changed it can be deautomatized how to do it you have to find the sutras that are to follow but remember one method is enough to correct all wrongs and that method that medicine that remedy is awareness and how will you know that you have attained it awareness is something inner it is so deep that nobody can see it is still if you become aware everyone who has a little intelligence who has eyes to see will become aware of it that a change has taken place within remember as awareness happens at the inner core compassion starts radiating love starts flowing unconditionally buddha says light the candle of awareness in your heart your whole being will radiate something that you can call compassion compassion is the proof an unless compassion happens remember you must be deceiving yourself you must be doing something else than being aware compassion is the aura of awareness the moment awareness grows into you your whole gestalt changes compassion overflows for example you can try concentration and concentration is not awareness and the person of concentration will never show compassion compassion is not the outcome of concentration concentration means you are focusing the mind narrowing the vision of the mind and it is becoming only pointed to one direction you can take a torch light and you are trying to enter the room you can focus its light only in one way one direction a little reflection will be here and there but you cannot bring the light to the entire room with the torch light it is focused it is concentrated in one direction alone wherever whichever side it is pointed out concentrated mind becomes very powerful but remember it is a still mind very powerful hence more dangerous than ever and concentration is not the method of concentration is the method of science not the method of meditation not the method of inward journey awareness is totally different it is not focusing it is unfocused alertness you come to the room you bring a bulb change the bulb in the socket put on the switch the whole room fills with the light and that is what awareness is for example right now you are listening to me you can hear in a concentrated way you can be focused on me 
then you will miss the birds and their songs that is happening outside. Then you will miss the noise on the road and the sound of the cars speeding on the road. Then you are not aware. And then your mind has become very narrow. Awareness is not narrowing of the mind, instead disappearing of the mind. You are aware of everything that is happening around. The narrowing of the mind makes the mind more of a mind. Hence Hindu mind is more a mind. The Muslim mind is more of a mind and communist mind is more of a mind. Because these are the processes, Hinduism, Christianity, Islam, Judaism are the process of narrowing the consciousness, narrowing the mind. Someone is focused on Das Capital or Communist Manifesto. Next one is focused on Holy Quran or Dhampar. Somebody is focused on Gita or Bible. These are all focused people. They create narrow minds in the world. They create conflicts and they do not bring compassion. For thousands of years, religions have existed but compassion is a still a dream. We, are, we have not been able to create the world that knows what love is, what friendship is, what brotherhood is, what compassion is. We talk and we talk too much about all these beautiful things. In fact, the talks have become nauseating. It is sickening. It should stop. No more talks of brotherhood and love and this and that. We have talked for thousands of years for no purpose. The reason is that the concentrated mind becomes narrow, becomes more of a mind and love is not the function of the mind. Love is the function of no mind. You can call no mind heart or sacred heart or kalb or anything. These mean the same thing. No mind and heart and kal, sacred heart are synonyms. Awareness means you are listening to me and focused. Of course, alertness is there. You have not fallen asleep, but alert to these birds, they are chirping, to the wind that passes through the trees, alert to everything that is happening. And in that precise single moment, something happens. Concentration excludes much, includes little. Awareness excludes nothing and it is all inclusive. Awareness is the state of no mind. You are, yet you are not focused. You are just a mirror reflecting and echoing all. There is beauty in it and the silence and the stillness too. Suddenly you are and you are not and the miracle begins to happen. In this silence you will feel compassion, compassion for all the suffering beings. It has not been practiced either. Instead it comes on its own. Patisha says, awareness inside, compassion on the outside. Compassion is the outer side of awareness, the exterior of awareness. Awareness is your innerness, your entire interiority, your subjectivity. Compassion is the way of relating and sharing with others. And it can come to you only if there is awareness. Awareness comes first as an aura, as an outcome, as a blossoming, as a flowering of awareness, compassion comes.